Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to import an Excel list that I have here, Contoso staff. I'm going to import that into an existing SharePoint list using Microsoft Access. In a previous demo, I've shown you how to do the export, but I've also given you the troubles with using that method. So I'm not going to go into that now. I'm just going to show you a better method. It gives you a much better control over your information, how the information gets added into your SharePoint site. So I'm going to create a new app here to contain this information. And it's just going to be a regular contact list. I'm going to call that consultants. And using a regular list like that, one of the built-in apps, also gives you a lot of nice features like being able to connect this to Outlook, which is not possible to do if you've done it through the export to Excel thing. So that's uh, one benefit of doing it with Access instead. Now, before I go on, I'm going to modify the columns a bit. I don't care which company they come from, so I'm just going to remove that. And then I'm going to add some existing columns. And using these existing columns is good because they are always site columns. So they're indexed and they're built into the search index, uh, which is a good thing, a very good thing. So I'm going to use department and then I'm going to do contact photo. And those are all I need for now. And then I will also do some modifications that I usually do on list because this is a list. Of course, I want to create a version each time you edit an item in this list. I also want to go into advanced settings. I want to disable attachments and then I want to open forms in a dialogue. I think those are rather nice features. Finally, I want to change the default view here so that I have this nice edit button as the first one. So now my list is finished and I've done the modifications that I want. And now I want to import data into this list with access. Yeah, I'm going to open with access. If the button doesn't work, then you can always open access directly and then create a new desktop database and then connect to an external list. But now the button does work. So if I click that button now, it allows me to create a new database. And in this case, I want to link the data to the SharePoint site. That's fine. I can just link the data to the SharePoint site. Now access opens up. And what happens in Access here now is that I'll get a connected external data table. And that table is connected to the SharePoint site. Now, the cool thing is that you can actually enter data in here. And just uh, by changing the row, you save the information into the SharePoint list. Like that. Of course, I don't want that person there. I'm going to delete that now. So as you see, Access has a direct communication, a direct synchronization with SharePoint. So now I want to import data in here. I want to do that by creating a new query. And of course, the data I want, I want to get that open first. Now, the next thing that I want to do is go into external data and get data from an Excel list. I browse to this Excel file that I had opened before. This is in here, Contoso staff. And I just want to link the data there too. And of course, the first row does contain column headings, consultants from Excel. There we go. Now I'm going to create a query and I'm going to add that table there. Just drag in and drop in that. And then but I'm going to make an append query. And then I'm going to append data to the consultants, which is of course a SharePoint list. Now I can just drag and drop these fields that I want or just actually double click them like that. The fields that are interesting to, to me. Uh, the work phone, uh, departments, I want that, and I want the uh, about me, and the picture, of course, too. Now, then I can just select the existing columns and modify. So, as you'll notice, this is a lot more clicks than uh, you did got when you did it from Excel, but I do assure you that this is worth the extra trouble once you get into the, the habit of doing it. About me, we'll go into the notes field, it's fine. And then finally the picture, like that. Contact photo. Now I'll just run the query, clicking run. And now it's 
updating this. And as you see, it's done doing it really fast. I'm adding 272 items in my list here, in my existing list. So when I go over to the consultants and refresh this, I get all the people with the contact photo that I imported in the previous demo. So that concludes this demo on how to import an Excel list using Microsoft Access. Thank you for watching.